YouTube what's up guys I'll be showing you how to put Android on your MacBook Air or any Mac any Mac at all I guess but this is just I'm gonna do it on my MacBook Air connect to my super drive what you'll do is you'll go to this website I'll give you a link in the description the site is originally in Japanese so if you'll see some Japanese print that's why but I'll give you a link to the English translated page and you'll just click download Depending on your internet connection, it can take a while because it's a 600 megabyte file. So it, it took me uh, about seven hours on my internet connection. Then when you do that, you'll go to the Finder, and you'll have this Live Droid Alpha ISO file. And you'll take that. Once you have that on your hard drive, you'll put it in Disk Utility. You'll just open up Disk Utility, and it'll be there. And you'll click on it. And you can check or, you know, check to make sure it's it somewhere. And then you click burn up here. And then that's all you have to do. You'll burn it to this, you'll burn it to your DVD on the MacBook Air. You'll have to have your super drive connected. And you will have to have DVDs, which I happen to have some. So when I learned about this, it was very easy and painless for me to pull one out. Because once you have that all done, now you have it burned to the DVD. Don't worry if it says not being able to verify. It didn't verify for me, but yet it works to an extent. So right now I'll close out all my windows just to make my shutdown a little bit faster. I'll shut down my Mac. Now it is completely shut down. So now I'll do a trick here. I'll hit the power button and then I'll hold down C. And wait. And we'll listen for the super drive. And I heard it, so I'll let off the button. And it will start booting up Android. And this is a long process. So, be warned. But my super drive is humming right now. If you can hear it. And oops, we're getting activity. Don't hit any of the F keys. I did that once and it wouldn't boot up for me, so I had to rest restart and do it again. This is about my fifth time booting this up, so I kind of know what happens going to happen. But it does seem kind of painful at first watching your Mac boot up something that's not even close to Mac. It's not a Mac interface, it resembles nothing of the Mac. And I admit it's kind of painful. And then, if you think it's not doing something, it is. You get this big bunch of code here. Big bunch of code. I and mean, don't worry if it says failed or warning, anything like that. It won't hurt your Mac. That's why we're booting it off a CD. It's because it's running off a Mac. It's not running off a hard drive, so it has no connections to the inside of your Mac. Your Mac is just booting up that disk. See, it said failed there. I don't know if you get to see it. It goes by pretty quickly. It says failed, and it said warning above that, but don't worry about it. Now we're getting close to the end. I don't blame you if you skip ahead to the end, or close to the end of this, because it is kind of long, but we're almost done now, so. Did I do something wrong? Okay, no, I didn't cast those. Okay, and then there it says Android, and it's flashing across. It's like Android on a G1 or something like that. And here we are. We're in Android. We are in Android. thing is, is this is a kind of a mobile version of Android extended to the desktop. So you've got messages and dialer and things like that. But obviously it won't send. And then... With my MacBook Air, here's my problem. 
the escape key, nothing lets me go back. So once I'm in something, I'm stuck. And by the way, the network does not work on this, so it's not like you can go into the browser and do something here. Even though it's not going to let me do anything. Okay, hang on. It's retrieving sign-in details. Which we're not going to have any. Network connection error. And if I go over here and I hit escape, nothing happens. If I go over here and I hit delete, nothing happens. All the arrows, but I have found one kind of neat bug here. If you hit the expose key, it kind of says force close. But it won't actually close the window, which is stupid. So if I hit the key, it says sorry, this process has studded on uh, Android. I can hit it. Force quit and it just goes back. Anyway, that's a little bit about Android. You can use it with the mouse and mouse, trackpad, or whatever. Maybe it'll work better on your MacBook. So tell me about it. Leave a video response. Write about it in the comments section. I'd like to know how this works on your Mac. See you later, YouTube. You have a great day.